Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the AJW U129PC vanity mounted soap dispenser, 4 inch spout. The um, unit ships to you in a variety of components, or a, in a disassembled uh, form, I should say. So let's start uh, kind of at the bottom. Here's the um, soap bottle. 16 ounce capacity. All right. Next on top of that you're going to have the bottle cap that will thread onto there like that. Actually let's go from the top down. It makes more sense to go about it that way. There's the business end. Four inch polished stainless steel spout. Get an idea of where the four inch comes in. Okay. Polished finish. This is stainless steel up here. Features a conical escutcheon at the top or flange. Okay. And that is intended to thread off. We'll go over that more in a moment. So threading that off will be important, but let's continue on. You're going to get a rubber washer, and that's going to be intended to sit underneath here on top of your vanity. Then you're going to have, after you insert this, and normally this would be threaded all the way down so you wouldn't see this gap, but I've got it unthreaded for a specific purpose. You insert this into your vanity, and the installation instructions say provide a 7 8 to 1 inch diameter hole in the vanity or the basin, insert the shank through the cutout, and secure with supplied washers and wing nut. Now, you're going to want to make sure that where you're drilling the hole, is the proper distance to where you want the soap to be falling into. You want to be careful of the sink if it's got a high rim on it or a very deep, you know, perimeter to it. So keep that all in mind. Okay, so now the point is this will go through the hole prepared in the vanity. Then you're going to have a steel washer that's going to come up through here. And then you're going to have your wing nut that is then from the bottom of the counter the vanity or countertop going to secure the entire assembly to your countertop and as you can see from this shank which is chrome plated on brass that it will work for a lot of thicknesses okay that you might have to contend with now after that You've got this plastic nut, and that's going to go up next. Run that up. Okay. Then we're back to the bottle cap and the bottle. Let's attach those two items together. Last thing is you've got your um, fill tube. That, you've got a bird's mouth preparation in one end, and then just straight cut in the other. The straight cut is going to fit up into. That you can't see it, of course, but the receiver is in there. I can look down into it with enough light and see that all I gotta do is push that in and it goes in quite secure. Oh yeah, definitely. So that at that point you're secured like this. Tighten that nut down, and then you're tight. Okay, that's a complete installation right there. Now, we talked about why I've got this collar loose. So when the collar is threaded all the way down, it's going to look like this. Okay, 
that rubber washer is up underneath. The last part is the tool. And this is the tool that you use to remove, or to loosen, I should say. This has got two little notches in it that you can see there to rotate that up all the way. And AJ, uh, and below this video, by the way, there is a link to the product brochure, which shows this and all of the sister products to this item from AJW, and it's really nice to have a, a single consolidated view to look at all of a manufacturer's product offering given a within a certain um, product category, so that's really nice. There's also, before we uh, finish off, there's also a link to the tech sheet, which also um, gives the written information about what it is uh, that the soap dispenser is comprised of, pretty much everything I just said. Um, and then installation aspect next, and we'll go over that at the end. So when you get that loosened off, you'll be able to remove all of this, refill it with a funnel, and you're good to go. Otherwise, you're going to loosen this, and then you're going to surely have soap dripping down. You probably don't want to do that. So that's how you go about filling it. Then when you're done, you tighten that down, you get the picture, and then you tighten it up with the wrench that is included. Obviously, you want to not lose the wrench. So for best performance, they want you to use pre-mixed low concentrate solutions. Dispensers should have periodic maintenance done uh, to provide, um, you know, serviceable life uh, is the bottom line, especially when it comes to the uh, um, the soap valve. Each dispenser should be flushed out approximately every 30 days with warm water to prevent clogging from old soap. So warm water, cycle it through to clean out the entire apparatus. And uh, lastly, do not use abrasive cleaners to clean the dispenser that will surely scratch the stainless steel. They also have the six inch version of this, which is the same part number, except that there's an, uh, uh, there's an A at the end of the part number. So it becomes U129PCA, and that's the six inch version of this. Six inch is also very common, but I think in my experience, the four inch is probably more typical. If you have any questions on the AJW U129 PC vanity or countertop mounted soap dispenser or any other AJW product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.